Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and uh, Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading August 26th to September 1st, 2019. And bear with me a couple of seconds here, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we're going to jump uh, right into it. So uh, the first card which stands for the topic of your week is going to be the Queen of Pentacles, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here. This is going to be the uh, Six of Wands. Afterwards, it is the Four of Wands which stands for the positive aspect and then we do have the Knights of Pentacles which is standing for the guidance. Oh my God, so you Virgo are going to actually, someone is gonna save the day for you throughout this week. Um, simply put, um, let's say that this person is going to prevent, if not a disaster, right? Uh, is going to prevent a very foolish actions of your behalf. But before we go into that, let's run the cards one more time. So Queen of Pentacles, it is the um, topic of the week, followed by the challenges that you need to overcome here by the Six of Wands. Afterwards, it is the positive aspect of the Four of Wands. And in the last one here, it's the um, Knights of Pentacles, which stands for the guidance. Now, the topic, we do have a person which is uh, marked by the Queen of Pentacles. It's very self-absorbed. A uh, well-developed person, developed in the sense of the achieved most of, of, of its goal, of its lifetime goals here. A very experienced one as well. Someone who believes that it doesn't matter what the rest thinks, all right? It only matters how satisfied you are with, with your achievements, current achievements. So what kind of a role this person plays for you? Well, that pers person puts you breaks. It is because that person sees that you are overlooking something very important, all right? And that person will try to either to point you into that direction or in other words, to open your eyes for this unexplored either option available or an opportunity like heretofore unexplored, right? The accompanied card here is going to be the Five of uh, Swords. The formation is your passive enemies. And uh, simply, they're not going to be very easy on you. I mean, they're going to name you fool and all these kind of stuff. It is because you, you have all the capacity. I will put it that way. So you do have all the capacity to do the right thing, all right? And to take advantage of this unexplored opportunity. But for some reason, you are so stubborn. Yeah, you are so stubborn that you don't want to even consider moving into that direction. And so this person is going to be rather aggressive and very harsh on you to make you switch your mind so you can now consider and comprehend upon taking advantage of this either option available you know or on this you know op opportunity so just to give you an example right now let's say you want to buy yourself an apartment and your family 
offers you a help and you're so proud of yourself that you say, no, I'm going to manage myself and how mortgage, of course. And a friend of yours here or your mother, in, as a matter of fact, is going to kind of like a stumble sense into your mind that it is better to take the money from them and return the same amount of money rather than to allow the bank to buy you, to buy you an apartment and you have to pay it five times in return, all right? So it's like a rational sense that this person is going to bring to, to, to you. That leads us to the next one, which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here. And this is going to be the uh, six of uh, wands. And it is the, that, 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 that cock. It's not even cockiness, guys. It's more like a, uh, prou a proudness of that you can push the thing on your own and you don't need the help of the Queen of Pentacles, all right? You can't do it the hard way while you can do it the easy way with, uh, with what the Queen of Pentacles is either offering to you or it is revealing to you, all right? This, this pride is this, um, I don't know, self, it's not even self-absorption. I don't know how to, how to even describe it. It's no different than, for example, your boss offers to help you with your financial struggle. And it's because you are so, you, you want to look so independent and so proud that you can deal with every plight into your life on your own and you don't need help in anything, you know, you decline the best chance you got for the time being to make your life easier, okay? So the challenge here is, in my books, to put your pride on the shelf. Everybody get have a rough time, you know, everybody at a certain point um, needs help, okay? And the best thing here, or rather like the, yeah, the best thing in this position is that you need to know that nobody, um, it's, it's able to succeed on its own. It always comes to how good we are in packs and a pack it is what you are to form with this uh, with this person the accompanied card here it is the uh, ten of cups it is it is active it is active enemies that we do have all right that pride that you do have you know uh it's it's only gonna lead you to misery these two okay you may be um emotionally satisfied with yourself that you kind of like have that um, I don't know how to name it even you know that sense of independence let's say but in the same time it is only that emotional satisfaction that you're going to be left with you know you ain't going to be able to um, actually maximize your efficiency here without comprehending on taking this um, this option available that it isn't explored by you. It is not unrecognized, all right? It is unexplored. It's different. So that leads us to the next one, which stands for the positive aspect. And in this case, this card manifests only if you uh, cooperate with the Queen of Pentacles. So the matter which that important matter subject, you know, that have been overlooked is finally attended to, which allows you to finalize an important cycle in life. It is what the Four of Wands is all about. That important cycle, it's a milestone. It is not a full completion, but this milestone, it is the most important step for you to reach that completion. The accompanied card here is going to be the Queen of Swords and it gets even better. Uh, we do have an, an active uh, friends that, that these, um, these two cards are forming with the Queen of Swords. It looks like that you are going to develop that sense of um, emancipation, okay? And assertion to push the things through regardless of how difficult the things are. It is because it's going to become so natural to you that you're going to feel that you do have that as a... Uh, past life experience that you dealt with this thing before even though you may you may face such a uh, um, such a thing for a first time you 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 are going to feel that it is you are born for this i would say it that way okay either regarding career or either regarding relationship and uh, very quickly and very easily as a matter of fact it seems that things are going to start working out for you in a very very good fashion but once again you have to allow someone to help you on, a, on your own with this reading. It doesn't look like with these cards, it doesn't look like that you're going to be that you're going to go very far 
this uh, this week um, <clears throat> August 26 to September 1st 2019 and the final card here it is the Knights of Pentacles which stands for the guidance so uh, guidance wise you have to you shouldn't rush things the, the Knights of Pentacles always knows what what it wants and therefore you need to know what you want so your goal needs to be the substantial thing how you're gonna get there shouldn't matter at all and for that reason you know you have to put your pride on the shelf because no one is going to um, no one is going to remember you for that you have been that you have relied on someone i would have said that you have been coward but it's not even about cowardness here but that you have relied on someone no one is going to remember that everybody is going to remember that you succeeded okay that's the point here so another thing it is that uh because um the cooperation is going to be so fruitful with the queen of pentacles you also need to um how can i place it you also need to be extremely certain what you want and that could that could happen only if you see that your actions are actually supported with the right determination <clears throat> the accompanied card here is going to be the sun the formation it is a, a passive neutrals that we do have so um this is a, a little bit of a um, more detached from the reading the sun here points uh to the knight of pentacles it is that you're not going to inflict any damage whatsoever into a, a peripheral circumstances or a different uh, endeavors that are not in sync with uh, with this one that the queen of pentacles manifests itself into all right so that being said if this thing uh, manifests in regards to a certain project of yours all right this person comes around willing to help you point you how to deal with the project how to become successful into it this thing is not going to reflect in any way and i'm saying in any way to the other projects that you're dealing with so that that combination here um secludes the endeavor itself in a bubble and allows you to be more uh more bold you know and more more heroic with so with your performance in it knowing that it's not going to inflict any damage to your relationship for example or to your career in the grand scheme of things so that being said Virgo, this was your weekly tarot reading for a uh August 26th to September 1st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.